Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. We already disassembled the board. Let's take a look. We're going to start at the charging connector area of the motherboard. And we have a MOSFET here. We should have another MOSFET on back of the board. I know those boards by heart as I work on them every single day. We're going to check to see if we have a short on this MOSFET. Meter in diet mode. And we do. We're going to inject voltage and see what gets hot on the board. And let's see if we can fix this board in a few minutes. If we inject voltage here. No amps being drawn. Why? Oh, my ground probe is not connected properly. If we try again, if we inject voltage here, I'm getting a 2.6 amp draw, which is a definite short. Let's inject voltage and see what gets hot on the board. We are injecting 1.3 volts and we have 2.2 amps being drawn by our short injection tool. Okay, I do not see anything obvious on this side of the board. Let's inject voltage and flip the board and look at the front of the board. Nothing obvious at the CPU area, nothing obvious at the GPU area, but I do see something hot right over here, right over here. Let's inject voltage one more time and focus our camera. See it? Right there. Right there. Right over here. We got it. I never had a short circuit on this area of the board. Right now, the short is coming from right over here. Usually, we have a short here. We have a short here. We have a short on the back. But I never had a short circuit on any Asus laptop on this side of the board before. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. I do see two big caps, and if I am to take an educated guess, I would say it's the cap on the bottom, this cap right here. If I want to be 100% sure, we can use our atomizer. Maybe we should use it. Let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to apply some Rosen flux over those caps. We can inject voltage, and then we'll see where Rosen melts first. We're going to press the atomizer five times to activate. One, two, three, four, five. We do see the blue LED blink. Now we're going to press and hold. And we're going to apply atomizer. We're going to apply atomizer. We're going to apply flux. So as you can see, I have the atomizer pointed vertically. And I applied some Rosen flux. It may be the one on the right. Yeah, it's the one on the right. Because flux on the one on the left did not melt. The one on the right is more obvious. I mean, those two components are close to each other, and heat is minimal on this area, so it's not very apparent which one is causing the short, but based on what I can see, we still have some Rosen flux on the one on the left, on the cap on the left, and most likely our short is on this one right here. Let's remove the cap using our hot tweezers. Now, if we remove this cap and we still have a short, then we're going to go right here. I could have done it without having to apply any Rosen from the atomizer, but I just wanted to show you how it works. That's why sometimes when recording videos, the repair takes longer than if I would have done it without recording a video. Because I'm trying to explain and show you what's going on. Let's put this one on this side. Measure to see if we still have a short. And we're going to keep the cap for now because we're not sure if that's the problem. 
what I can do is maybe we can start in continuity mode and measure the cap. If it beeps, that means the cap is bad. See? The cap is bad. What about this one? This cap is good. And this cap is bad. Before, I thought that this cap was the bad one because it did not look good. But when we applied the atomizer, it turns out that this cap is bad and not this one. So we got it. Throw this one away. And people ask, where do you get those caps from? I mentioned it in previous videos. This is a 10 microfarad cap, and you can get it off SMD books. SMD books. If you have a donor board, you can grab it off a donor board. If not, then you can grab it off SMD books. We sell all 10 SMD books. Resistors from 201 to 1206, and capacitors from 201 to 1206. Just log into our website and type in books or book and you should be able to find them and we have a lot of them in stock we also carry and sell the atomizer the tweezers the tools hot air stations soldering stations but whatever you need just log into northwishfix.com click on shop and i'm saying this to all new viewers on the channel because old viewers you already know and many of you are repeat customers i do not need to keep reminding you but for all new viewers all that stuff can be purchased off our site like that tweezer that I'm using now. Let's solder the cap. And let the capacitor roll a bit. Do some gymnastics. And let go. Perfect soldering. Grab a clean swab. Now we do not know if anything else was affected due to this big cap short, but we're gonna find out. Let's go back to the MOSFET that we measured before for a short and see if we still have a short here. If not, then I'm gonna give it to Big Glass to reassemble and test and We'll take it from there. Meter in diet mode. And what happens if we measure at the drain of the MOSFET right here? Now we have 0 0.42 voltage drop. Awesome. Laptop is fixed, most likely. All right, I'm going to give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Hopefully it's a fix. Let's check on Big Boss and see what's going on. Do we see an orange light? Yes, we do. And yes, the laptop is working. Awesome, awesome. Laptop is working. Thank you, Big Boss. Thank Hello. you. Hello. A lot of new items that came in today. Packages and packages of new items. And we've been doing nothing all day but unpack and reorganize. We have the all new Aten hot air station. We have enough for everyone and more coming in. The books I was talking about, the SMD component books. We have a lot of them in stock. This is the same one that I told you in the video. We're going to use a capacitor from the 10 microfarad capacitor. We have all sizes from 201 to 402, 603, 805, 1206, resistors and capacitors. We got the dust-free clean room. We were out of stock last week and we have a lot of them today and we have more on the way. We have uh, Nintendo Switch BGA stencils, rebowling stencils. We have a lot. We're still organizing. We have the chip 
programmers down here uh, more here and we have loads and loads of stencils stencils for all iPhones stencils for all iPads all MacBooks NAND RAM BGA chips of all types and uh, we posted a lot of those stencils on our e-commerce site and we will be posting the rest by later this week probably we have the all new board holder I'll go over this in a future video just an amazing board holder the popular UV lamp very very popular item uh, we got a lot of uh, new items also my dad already unpacked those and he put them somewhere as for the atomizer that I use in today's video we are out of stock but we should have more later this week over maybe 15 different types of tweezers and if you look at the bathroom here honestly we are running out of room these are all the donor laptops or laptops that were deemed the no fix and customers did not want them we have a lot uh, iMacs, uh, MacBooks, Dells, HPs, Toshiba, Samsung, anything that you can think of, we have here. Uh, we are still not done with our video card queue. We have three shelves of this. And the only room that we have in the bathroom here is for someone to sit on the toilet. That's it. My dad just left. Now, what I'm thinking is because, as you can see, we have no room to do anything. All those devices we need to fix. Whatever you see on the shelves here are stuff that we need to fix. We have them labeled by letters. And we have a Surface here. We have an Xbox Series X, a hard drive, motherboard, laptop. Uh, it looks like a PlayStation game console iMac that we need to fix as soon as possible. We have an HP spec that we need to fix as soon as possible. And what I'm thinking, I was reorganizing this room. I took out the black plastic shelves that we had in the corner. And what I'm thinking is we're going to put three metal shelves on the wall from floor to ceiling. And that will hold a lot of the products that we're going to get in. And that's the dust-free clean room that I'm talking about. I use it every day when we are installing tempered glass for a customer or I'm working with a dust-sensitive item. This one here we no longer use. We used to use it back in maybe 2014 when we used to separate the uh, digitizer from LCD. We'll probably sell it. And uh, that's my bench. That's where I work and I fix it today. Everything is nice and clean. I come back tomorrow. I work on 20, 30 items. Then it becomes like this again. And I'll have to reorganize. That's how it goes. That's the outside here. And even the outside, I barely have any room to walk and talk with the customer. Look at this, look at the boxes. We cannot fit them inside, so we have them here. All size boxes for shipping. My dad have a lot inside also, but. That's it, we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.